Imagine a world where there is unlimited internet, you will have no connection problems, everything will be online all the time, it is awesome, it is perfect, I want to be there. Unfortunately, that's not how the world works. We have to deal with offline internet connections. We want to check if you are connected to Wi-Fi, if you are connected to Bluetooth, if you are connected to all the things. And that's exactly what you can do with the Essentials API, uh, the connectivity one. And I'm going to show you how to use it in this episode right now. So before we start digging into the code, there is a little note about testing this because on the iOS simulator and on the Android emulator, um, it's kind of hard to test this um, because you know you have external tools, you have very limited built-in tools um, to mimic some kind of network scenarios, uh, but not really like to simulate whenever you're connected to Wi-Fi or uh, just cellular or um, something else. Um, so you probably want to test this on an actual device if you have that possibility um, or else I'm going to show you at least on Android uh, a little bit of a workaround um, but you know it's it's kind of hard another note is that depending on what platform you're running on the implementation of the native APIs are not all the same so um, it might report that you have internet access while you do not actually have internet access. So for some platforms, um, it might be true that it will return uh, internet. So network state internet, we'll see that in a minute. Um, but it's only connected through Wi-Fi to your local router, but it doesn't actually verify that it can connect to external websites. Um, so those are all things that you should take into account uh, whenever you implement this. You can find it on the um, documentation pages, uh, a little bit more extensive than I'm explaining it to you now. So before you start digging into that uh, on the platforms that you're looking for, go look there and um, I'm going to show you now how to implement the APIs right here and how to use them. So here we are, this is just a file new uh, Xamarin Forms application, not to distract you with any of the other stuff. Um, and here we are going to implement a little bit of UI to um, check a couple of things. So we're going to see the one shot, like what is my network state right now? And we're going to respond to the event of, you know, whenever something changes. So, um, but first th there's also like uh, uh, permissions on Android uh, for iOS and UWP and some other platforms that are supported. No extra permissions are needed to access the network state, but on Android there is. So we're going to go into the solution. I'm going to go to the Android project uh, into the properties folder and look in the Android manifest.xml. So I'm going to go here in the um, actual UI editor uh, of the settings and I can search here for uh, network state. So I can, this is already added uh, maybe because uh, Essentials was installed, but double check that you have the access network state um, enabled. You don't need to change network state. We're not going to change anything. We're just going to uh, read from it. So whenever we have that set, we can go back to this XAML here. I'm going to remove all this, these labels and I'm going to add a new one um, and I'm gonna give that a name so it will create a field for it in the code behind that I can access. And I'm going to give this the network state name, there we go. And of course, uh, let's not forget the most important thing. We're going to update the um, title here to connectivity sample, there we go. Um, so that's all in place. Um, you can see hot reload is reloading the thing while I'm actually doing this. So it's um, uh, refreshed already. Uh, you can see my changes. Um, so let's go into the code. I'm going to go to my shared project here, main page XAML.cs, which is the backing file. And here I can just um, add the um, using Xamarin Essentials. So you should have the Essentials library also already installed. Um, else, uh, install the NuGet package. You probably know how to do that. And uh, now I can just go in here and set the uh, network state dot text to connectivity um, dot. Well, you can see a couple of things here. So we have the connection profiles, which gives you um, a little bit of extra information, like what are the current active connections on this device right now? That can be Wi-Fi, that can be Ethernet, that can be Bluetooth. Uh, there can be multiple things in here because this, this is an I enumerable. Um, you can have multiple connections at the same time. Um, and with this um, um, property, you can check what are the active connections right now. 
Uh, I'm going to go uh, use another one. I'm going to go to the network access right now. And that's basically just your single shot um, property where you can um, ask like, hey, what is my network access right now? And uh, you can see, uh, I can do this to string and whenever we go to the definition, so I'm holding down the command key here on my Mac and I'm going to click on the network access and do that again for the actual network access enum. And you can see that it has a couple of states, unknown, uh, none, so then you are not connected, uh, local, so you can only reach the local network, uh, constrained internet, so you have limited internet access or full internet, so you have local and, and full external website access. Again, uh, make sure to check for your scenario uh, what is reported here uh, because it not might that be all that reliable on all the platforms now if I go back to my code here we go um, so this just should tell me whenever the app starts like okay this is your network access so actually let's stop running this one and start it again see if this actually works um, and whenever I start this, I should expect the text to say uh, internet because my emulator is connected to my uh, MacBook and um, that is connected to the internet. So this just should tell me that I have internet connection. Now, whenever I stop this, uh, so this is a nice little trick to uh, at least try if you do not have internet at all. Um, you can just enable airplane mode here. I just swipe this down from here and I can click on this little plane. It might be on a different place for you. Uh, but I'm going to do this and so now all the connections are shut off there should be no connection whatsoever uh, the fun thing is that I cannot start a debug session now because also the um, uh, debug session just uses HTTP and uh, it can connect to the emulator right now so what I'm going to do is bring up like the application launcher here, scroll down to my um, connectivity sample, which is right over here and start that. And it will run the same code, but now it will show you that my network state is none because it's not connected at all. So this is basically how you would go about like your single shot, um, see if you are connected or not. So probably in a more uh, real life scenario, you would do if um, connectivity network access uh, is, and then here we have all the um, values and you're gonna say, if I don't have any connection, then our network state label is going to be, um, please, connect first right so whenever you maybe have a login form that relies on some external service um, you might want to check if you have an internet connection first and if not um, then maybe disable the login button or let the user know like hey you need to connect to the internet first before you can log in so that's kind of the scenarios where you can do this now another thing that we can do is um we can listen for actual changes in the uh, network state. So what I can also do is connectivity dot connectivity changed, which is, which is an event that um, is fired whenever something in the connectivity changes. So um, it, it will also specify the properties that uh, has actually changed. So uh, we can just look into that. So I can hook this up. I can add a uh, event handler here. Um, let's just make it this one. Well, the IntelliSense is not helping me today. Um, so connectivity change. Oh, here we go. Does it work now? No, still nothing. Okay. Connectivity changed handler. And does it generate this for me? Generate. There we go. Okay, so in this um, handler, you can see it's the object sender, which is as usual for event handlers. And I have the connectivity changed event arc. So if I were to look for E right here, um, I can see again those connection profiles. So I can see like, hey, did anything change in these connection profiles? So I know that maybe if my Bluetooth connection changed, um, it won't be here in my connection profile. So you can act on that. And you can also see that same network access thing. So whenever things change from like, hey, suddenly I have internet again, or you don't have internet, um, this is the way to handle it. So uh, maybe imagine that you have your app, the user is now locked in, they had internet, uh, but maybe their internet 
connection dropped because you know it's a mobile device and the connection is not great everywhere so their network access has gone to none and maybe now you want to cache all the data that you want to be sending out typically and you want to show the user some um, uh, some alert that uh, they might be offline so things can't maybe uh, work as they should so um, to do that we're just going to say okay um, network state uh, dot text we're going to change the text again and i'm just going to do that from right here and i'm going to say again the networks access dot to string um, it might be that this runs on a separate thread i'm not entirely sure uh, and if that's the case then you can't update the ui from here um, if you happen to run into a uh, exception that says that just uh, do the um, device dot begin invoke on main thread there is another api in essentials to do that as well uh, because this api only works from a examiner informs page uh, but you can just wrap it into um, this uh, kind of method right here and whoops there we go and now this should just work from a uh, background thread as well um, so you know if, if you run into any case uh, like that then just do this but i'm pretty confident that we can do this without uh, and if not then we'll see exactly why i made you um, do this so there we go then i probably need to get rid of this for a little bit because else that will just flip around all the time and if i run this again um oops i didn't have yeah the airplane mode have to turn it off i hope i was in time I was so here we go uh, and you can see it already changed now because i probably flipped the airplane mode off so it flipped now to internet and whenever i do this i switch to airplane mode again and we go back you can see this switches to none so you can see this changes whenever the network state changes um, so it, it kind of makes it hard to debug whenever the debugger disconnects when um, I put the airplane mode on, but uh, just to show you like how you would also go about with the um, uh, connection profile. So you would probably go look for something like if e connection profiles um, contains or something. Um, and you can see here Bluetooth, cellular, Ethernet, Wi-Fi or unknown. So you can uh, check like, hey, if it does not contain Bluetooth, then probably the Bluetooth has disconnected um, and you can do something with that. Right. So um, that way you can also handle like the other connectivity things. Um, and whenever you do the else, then, you know, the Bluetooth is um, enabled and you can uh, handle that accordingly as well. So that is how you go about the connection profiles, basically. And um, I think with that, we have handled all there is to it with this uh, Connectivity Essentials API. I'm curious to know how you're using this in your own application. Do you handle like any connection problems at all? Uh, how do you handle like the data sync collisions in that? Um, I want to know. Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you like multiple of my videos and you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. You know what? Subscribe anyway, whatever you do. I hope to see you for my next video again. Thanks for watching.